A very pleasant morning to all the members present here. I am T. Vahini from 2nd BBA. I am greatly honored and privileged to welcome you all for the online workshop on AICTE, MIC, Kapila, IPR Awareness Program organized by Maridha Kesri Jain College for Women, Intellectual Property Rights Cell in association with Government of India, Ministry of Commerce, Industry. A day without prayer is a day without blessing and a life without prayer is a life without power. So let's begin the day by invoking the presence of the Almighty with the prayer song. Thank you. Now I call upon M. Geetana from 2nd BBA to welcome the gathering. Coming together is being, staying together is progress, and working together is success. A very good morning to one and all present here. I take an immense pleasure in welcoming you all for the workshop of AICTE, MIC, Kapila, IPR Awareness Program. I extend my warm welcome to our Secretary Sir, Sri C. Likmichan Jain Ji, and other Honorable Trust Members in absentia. Welcome Sir. It is my privilege to welcome our principal ma'am, Dr. M. Inbavalli, the pillar of our support in all our endeavors. Welcome ma'am. Next, I would like to welcome our PRO ma'am, Ms. B. Shakti Mala, for immense support. Welcome ma'am. It is my artiest privilege and honor to welcome a resource person of the event, Ms. Priyanka Kasla, examiner of pattern and design, Nipam Officer, Pattern Office, Delhi. Welcome ma'am. Finally, I welcome all the HODs, faculties and staffs of various departments, external participants for this session. I truly believe this online workshop will be a great value to all present here. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you, Ketana. I now request our beloved principal ma'am to felicitate our resource person and the gathering. 
yeah thank you ma'am most respected secretary madam pr wo respected today's resource person heads of the department faculty and all the dear students good morning to one and all present here on this wonderful outset i thank our secretary for given us approval in organizing such a wonderful program in our in our campus also uh, feel happy and uh, delighted to share that this is a first program for this academic year we started in our campus so i thank madam priyanka examiner of patent and design nipim officer patent office delhi for accepting our request and also presence for sharing your wonderful knowledge and experience to all our faculty and students thank you madam also i thank aict mic kapila ipr for accepting our request and also given us approval for organizing such a wonderful program intellectual property rights cell and uh, and also government of india ministry of commerce and industry to organize this ipr awareness program also we know everyone innovation novelty and uh, commercialization is is a recognition for our innovation so ipr provides exclusive rights to the inventors to commercialize so definitely this workshop would be a great workshop for all our faculty and students for uh, for uh, making your own patenting as a commercialized one or also make your own innovation as a patenting so thank you once again for all your presence and uh, use this workshop and definitely this would be a very great workshop for all of us thank you thank you ma'am i now invite kitana to introduce our resource person for today's event and privileged to introduce our resource person ms priyanka kazla examiner of patent and design nipam officer patent office delhi ms priyanka kazla hails from sikkar rajasthan she has received a btech degree from vit university vellore in electronics and communication and has received a mtech degree from iit gandhinagar in signal processing she has worked in nahru software private limited and is currently working as a examiner of patents in information technology wing at patent office delhi she has delivered several session as a part of national intellectual property awareness mission at various places that include mdu rotak niit university vvp engineering college rajkot gd college fatehabad government college for women bodikera During her post graduation, Mam has worked as a several projects, namely robust medium filtering detection based on filter residual two-channel forward NLMS algorithm combined with simple variable step size for speech stability of an object of a flexible platform using PID controller to name a few. Mam has presented a paper on performance analysis of SMF and MMF in land. in national conference on research trends in tech electronics and communication in the year 2014 ma'am has also published a paper entitled speech quality enhancement using a two channel spare adaptive filtering approach in the journal of applied archivist it is a such a great privilege to have such a eminent person among us welcome you ma'am
Thank you, Keetana. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Now, I humbly invite our resource person, Ms. Priyanka Kajla, Examiner of Patent and Designs, Nipam Officer, Patent Office, Delhi, to share her knowledge with the gathering. Please, ma'am. A uh, very good morning to all. Thank you, ma'am, for giving me this opportunity. Now, I will start my session. Uh, my screen is visible or not? Yes, ma'am, it's visible, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so we all have gathered for the uh, mission called NIPAM, National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission. Under that, we have to educate uh, uh, students of, uh, from schools and colleges about IPR. What is IPR and what is importance of IPR? So today we will talk about intellectual property. So when you heard the word property, what comes in our mind is the tangible property we have like land, flat, flat, uh, flat, plot, building, car, furniture. So these are movable or immovable property. What about intangible property? So intellectual property is an intangible property. For example, patent, design, trademark, copyright. So uh, IP is basically uh, intellectual property means bodhik sampada. It is basically creative ideas and expression of human intellect, such as artistic, literary, or any uh, technical and scientific creation that has some commercial value. Like any other property, like land, uh, plot, building, we can sell this intellectual property, we can bought this, we can license this, we, we can exchange like any other property. So intellectual property rights are the right given to a person over his creation of my, mind, Usually the creator have only have a right for certain period of time. Nobody else can use their ideas. So IPR is basically combination of three things, brain or mind resources that we get to create that intellectual property and the hard work we do. It is the combination of three things. So what is the need of IPR? As we all know, technologies are changing rapidly. Every year we see the changes in electronic gadget and in everything. There is a huge investment in research and development, marketing. And as we all know, in the era of digitalization, there are, there are high chances that our creative ideas being stolen by any third party without our permission. And industries has become very competitive. So in that scenario, IPR protection is very necessary. So IPR, it protects other from and it exclude others and it can be used as a commercialization and to earn uh, money. So what is the advantage of uh, intellectual property, right? For a common person, it can be used as a pride or in their academics for a businessman. It can be used for commercialization purpose to build up their brand value and to earn an investment. So there are six type of intellectual property, patent, design, trademark, GI, copyright, and SICLD design. So patent is basically given for an invention. Design is registered for any uh, 2D, 3D object that we see around. And trademark is uh, for logo of any company. And GI tag is given to a, a specific originated uh, things. And copyright is given for movies, song, novels, books. And SICLD design is given for uh, integrated circuitry. So now we will see the all different IPs in a single product. As you can see the example of this uh, camera. So there is a autofocus mechanism of this camera. So this subject matter can be patented and you can see the logo of uh, Canon. So this is can be used as a trademark. So from logo, we identify this, this particular camera belong to this company. And the outer design of this camera can be registered as a design and the user manual that we get with every electronic gadgets like camera, phone, mobile phones, we, uh, for that the copyright is there. Now we'll see the second example. You can see the laptop. So there is a, a Apple sign. So this is this sign is a trademark for Apple company. 
from this logo we identify this uh, this particular product belongs to this company and there is a led display technology so for this patent is granted the body of laptop design registration is there the user manual copyright is given and the layout of this ic can be uh, registered as a sicl design now we will talk about patents so patent is basically exclusive right granted for an invention invention can be a product or process that provide a new way of doing something and offer a technical solution to a problem so this right exclude other by making selling and offering for a sale of other person and the, what is invention so invention basically uh, can be any product or a process of making that product that involves inventive step inventive step means it should be technically advanced over existing knowledge and it should be capable of industrial application that means it should be made and sold in industries so uh, invention can be uh, all field of technology whether it can be a product apparatus machine device chemical product if they meet the following criteria the first one is novelty it should be new the second is inventive step that means it should be technically advanced or it should be non obvious and the third is industrial application that means it should be made and sold in industry and the fourth is it should not fall in the section 3 and 4 of the patent act 1970 so there are certain limitation that is mentioned in the section 3 and section 4 is for atomic energy and defense purposes so these are the example of invention which is not patentable for example uh, the invention which is free wills against natural law injurious to public morality injurious to public health or mathematical uh, formula business method computer program or method of playing a mental act or playing a game in the area of traditional knowledge like turmeric turmeric and neem can be used to cure some diseases and relation to atomic energy and uh, defense of india and a uh, method of agriculture and horticulture cannot be patentable or any method of diagnostic a disease cannot be patentable now we will see the famous indian uh, famous inventors like jofford alford depenning he has invented efficient pankha pulling machine he has got first ever indian patent from kolkata patent F office in 1856 and there are famous scientists like thomas alva edison has got patent for phonograph alexander graham bell for telephone red brothers for aeroplane louis pasteur for rabies vaccination so anything uh, for invention the patent is granted for example uh, the gerald morgan has invented the traffic signal so uh, he has witnessed a horrific accident between a automobile and a car so he decided to make a invention so it helps us in today daily to daily life so he has invented traffic signal for this invention he has got patent and he is he has sold this idea to general electric these are the famous indian inventions like nano car hepatitis vaccine jaipur food so for all these invention they have got patent so basically patent can be granted to all invention which uh, offer a technical solution to a problem and it, sh it should be new it should be technically advanced and it should be sold and made in industries for this the patent can be granted now we will see the pat patent application filing so patent can be filing uh, uh, through both online or offline mode in offline mode uh, we have to submit the hard copies of form and submit to the patent office and for online form uh, online filing uh, you can file through our website so this is the comprehensive e filing portal that is that can be found in our website ipindia.com so there are recent step taken by the government to boost the patent filing so government has reduced 80% of the fee for filing a patent application for educational institution and uh, government has given a facility of expedited examination for startups and uh, if, uh, if applicant is female for government departments for institution for educational institution for all this 
the expedited uh, expedited examination mode has given so uh, if you are applying for expedited examination then your application can be examined within one month and you have to pay some extra fee for this so now we will see the different forms required to file a patent application. So first is form number one, where the detail of the application, applicant detail uh, need to be filled. And there is a fee for this form one. Form two is where detail of the invention, like title, background, invention, drawing, et cetera, they have to mention. And there is a no, uh, there is no fee for form two if the number of pages is 30 pages and the number of claims is 10. If number of pages and claims are exceeding 30 and 10, then there is an extra fee for each claim and each page. And now the, the third one is form three. So form three is required to give a foreign filing detail if you have filed uh, the same application to foreign countries or not. The form five, form five is declaration of inventorship, which uh, declare that these particular persons are inventor of this uh, invention. And the form 18 is required for, it is for request for examination. If you are, if you have not filed form 18, then your application will not be uh, examined. And form 18 shall be filed within 48 months from date of priority or date of filing. These are the fee required for all the forms. So form one for natural person, for educational institute or for a startup. The fees for form one is 1600. For a company, it is 8000. There is no fee if the pages are 30 or 10. If pages are exceeding 30 pages, then there is a fee for each page. Uh, for form three and five, there is no fee. For form 18, the fee is 4,000 for a natural person. And for a uh, uh, company, it is 20,000. So uh, the total fee required for filing a patent is 5,600 for a natural person and 28,000 for other than natural person. So for expedited examination, I have already mentioned, if somebody wants to examine their patent in a fast mode, then they can file the expedited examination. So there is a, some extra fee for expedited examination. Expedited examination can be filed by any startup, small entity. If the applicants, uh, if any of the applicant is female applicant, department of government, or for educational institution. Now we will see the how the patent application is processed in our office. So when the application is filed by the applicant, it goes to screening and classification. If the uh, application belongs to atomic energy or defense purpose, then it uh, sent to atomic energy department. And if it is related to defense, then it, it is has sent to DRDO. If they uh, uh, clarify that this application is not belong to DRDO, then the uh, publication of this application will be done. If it is belong to Atomic Energy or DRDO, then this application will be refused at, under Patent Act uh, Section 4. After the publication, the application will allow to examiner for examination. The publication of the application will happen after 18 months from date of filing. There is a uh, mode for early publication. So form nine is required for early publication. If anyone wants to publish their patent early, so they have to file form nine. It is not compulsory, it depends on you if you want to publish your patent earlier or not. So if you have filed form nine, then your application will be published within one month. If you have not filed, then their, their normal publication will be done after 18 months. So this is how the examination takes place. Uh, the examiner and controller will examine the application and the formal and technical uh, examination will be done. And the first examination report will be issued to applicant and applicant has given time for six months. They will, applicant will reply for the examination and then controller and examiner will check, check their reply if uh, uh, after the taking receiving reply, they will check if there is a hearing is needed. The applicant will need a hearing, then hearing will be done. After the hearing, controller and examiner will take the decision whether the application to refuse or grant. So this is the basic timeline, uh, like you have filed a patent application. So there are two type of specification, provisional or complete specification. So if anyone has a, some a basic idea about some uh, invention, then they can, they, they can file a 
provisional application and they have 12 months time they can complete their research and they can file a complete specification within 12 months so it is for getting an earlier priority so the second is request for examination for request for examination 14 months timeline is there and to reply for fer six month timeline is there to file a form three after filing form one six month timeline is there for form five the fun month timeline is there or anybody if anybody has filed a patent application they want to withdraw their application so they can withdraw their application within 15 months and there will be a uh, fee uh, refund also for this and if hearing has taken place and uh, hearing submission time will be 15 days and if anybody wants to apply for a, a post grant or pre grant opposition so pre grant opposition can be filed before grant of any uh, patent application post grant opposition can be filed uh, after one year of a uh, patent has been granted so this is how the patent certificate looks like here patent number application number date of filing patent name will be mentioned now the second is design so design can be given to any 2D, 3D outer uh, layer of any object that we see, like design of car body, design of cycle can be registered. These are the exam uh, example of design, any consumer product, uh, design of iron, design of scissor, design of brush, laptop, bag, wallet, anything can be registered. Design of jewelries, uh, jewelry set, textile product so designer like there are many designer clothes of sabbe sachi manish malhotra they all they, uh, they filed for a design application design of any pharmaceutical product design of tablet syringe uh, design of set can be registered design of tea set design of sofa set as all together can be registered design of jewelry set so design which is not registrable is design which is not new. So for design, the basic criteria should be, it should be new and original. It should not have disclosed anywhere before uh, filing to design application. Design should not be, uh, should not contain any scandalous or obscene matter. Design which is contrary to public moral morality cannot be registered. So design can be filed through physical file at uh, patent office delhi mumbai chennai kolkata for all for all the application uh, go to digitalization and will be processed from kolkata patent office so for design application the fee for uh, 1000 rupees for individuals sm a small entity or startup for, uh, it is 4000 for uh, co for companies or any other natural person so in the uh, application form one applicant name, nationality, address shall be mentioned. For design application, two set of representation will be required and a power of attorney is required if any assignment document or form 24 if the applicant is small entity or startup. This is how uh, the publication of design application will be done. So. This is the design of chest compression device for a first aid. Here, design number, class number, applicant name, and address will be mentioned. This is how the design certificate looks like. So like uh, if you have registered a design, then uh, before delivery to as an article, you can uh, mark the sign like registered REGD or RD so that uh, it uh, shows that this dis particular design is registered. So there is a timeline for design application. Like if there is a first examination report is issued for design application. So there is a six month timeline for to reply for the ob objections and it can be extendable. If applicant is not able to reply within six months, then he has to file for extension for three months. And after the three month, he can uh, reply to the uh, objections. So the term of design is 10 year initially, or it can be extendable uh, until five year. So there is a, um, uh, they have to file a renewal request within 10 years. After every year, they have to renew their design. 
now the third is trademark so trade is business mark is the logo logo name that represent the particular business so a uh, trademark can be a sign a word a letter a number a drawing picture it can be anything which represent the business so uh, you can see the uh, trademark like mcd trademark coca cola adidas nike google nokri.com so nike logo is just a symbol so any word combination of letter number a uh, symbol can be registered as a trademark so what is not registrable as a trademark so uh, the trademark which deceive the public and cause confusion the trademark should not contain scandalous or obscene matter uh, the emblem and national emblem cannot be registered as a, a trademark uh, the importance of trademark is it provide exclusive monopoly over class of goods it allow a business entity to build up their uh, public goodwill or brand reputation it identify the source and origin of the goods and services and it assure customer about quality of goods and services the state emblem official hallmark emblem of intergovernment uh, government or organization cannot be registered as a, a trademark so a uh, good trademark should be uh distinguish and it should be honestly adopted uh it it is not similar to existing mark so uh you can see the r and circle sign so this shows that this particular trademark is registered uh, you can see the levis in the levis logo there is a r and circle that means this levis logo is registered and when you see the tm word uh written over the logo that means they have filed for a trademark application but the application is still pending so a uh, trademark registration is not necessary it give you certain advantage like you have uh, open a company you have filed for a trademark and somebody else is using your trademark and they can they are selling uh, on behalf of your name so you can file a complaint for this and you will get advantages so trademark registration can be a national regional or in international level trademark validity is indefinitely it can be valid till num thousand of years but it should be renewed in after every 10 years and trademark registration is done as per the trademark act 1999 so if you want to find more information about patent design trademark you can go to ip india website where you will get all the information related to these things now the fourth is copyright so copyright you have, might have seen in like youtube videos when you when we go to watch a movie then they display a certificate that, that is copyright certificate uh, got for that particular movie so copyright is given for any author composer software writer website designer or for their literary or artistic uh, creations such as novel poetry music painting photographers or uh, films computer programs or any video game or or original database so for this the copyright is given the so subject matter of copyright is literary work that means novel uh movie uh, books and all for dramatic works the drama sound recording works the music uh songs artistic works like painting photography uh, uh films so uh, the subject matter of copyright that is we have discussed uh these are drama music artistic works movie sound recording so uh for it this is uh for literary or dramatic work the author has the first owner of copyright for for music work music composer is the first owner of copyright for artistic work other than a photograph the artist is the uh, owner of copyright for photograph the person who takes the photograph for movie or sound recording the producer has got the copyright for literary or drama dramatic work the person who caused the work to be created so there is a validity for every uh, work so for drama and artistic works the validity of copyright is lifetime of the author plus 60 years for film and sound recording it is 60 years from date of publication for uh, broadcast or reproduction right is 25 year 
from the year of broadcast for performance right is it is 50 years so uh, this is how the copyright uh, the timeline validity is now uh, for uh, filing a copyright you can file through offline mode or e filing mode from copyright website so this is the various fee required for like literary and dramatic work the 500 rupees is required for artistic work it is the form fee is 2000 rupees for sound recording it is 2000 rupees for cinematographic work it is 5000 rupees so how the examination procedure has been taken place for copyright is when the application is received at copyright office delhi the formal formality checking is there the name the uh, applicant address and all and there will be a waiting pe period where scrutiny of the application will be done if there is a discrepancy found in the application then the letter will be issued to applicant if they have not responded to this response then application will be abandoned if uh, they, they have removed the application, the discrepancy, then it will be approved by the registrar of the copyright. Now the fifth is SICLD design. So it is semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. So SICL semiconductor integrated circuit, basically a product having transistor and other circuitry element which is the combination uh, which is made on the insulating material designed to perform an electronic circuitry function layout design is a layout of transistor and other circuitry element included lead wires connecting such element and expressed in a manner so SICLD is an important IPR protection of the product with fast changing technologies and electronic gadgets and computer. We see uh, there are various ICs coming in every year. There are, there are some changes. So uh, uh, the layout design validity is 10 years from date of filing the application. Uh, the design, the layout design, which is not registrable for every IPR, the de uh, design for every IPR, the first criteria shall be it is should be new and original, and it should not be commercially exploited anywhere in the India before filing this application, and sh it should be distinguished from existing things. So uh, there are various form required for to file SICLD design the form one two. In form one, the application of registration of layout design will be taken place. So form two is required for notice for opposition. So you can check all the form and file for the SICLD application. Now the sixth one is geographical indication. So when we see the GI tag, the things come in our mind is Agra ka petha, Makrana marble, Katputlis of Rajasthan, various variety of mango, various variety of tea, rice. So all these have got a, a GI tag. So GI tag is given to a, a particular product that has some geographical origin and it should be possess some uh, special quality originated from that particular reason. So uh, GI, uh, it uh, states that it should it, it can be given to a particular product, belongs to a particular place and it shall have some qualities depending on the geographical place of production. And there is a link between product and its original place of uh, production. Uh, the GI tech primarily granted to agriculture, natural or manufactured handicraft product originating from a definite geographical territory. And the geographical territory shall be in India only. And it should have a special quality or characteristic or reputation based on the climate or production characteristic unique to a particular geographical location. So uh, G, uh, for a GI tag, to qualify for a GI tag, it should, it should have a good uh, its area and geographical origin, poses a given quality and reputation or other characteristics, which is essential attributed to its area of geographical origin. Uh, example of GI tag is Darjeeling tea. So Darjeeling tea has got first GI tag in 2003. So Darjeeling tea has a special quality that the other tea does not have. Makrana marble is used in Taj Mahal, Ratlami Sev, Kanchipuram silk. 
कठपुतलीज ऑफ राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश वर्ली पेंटिंग वेरियस वेराइटी ऑफ मैंगोज अल्फॉन्जो मैंगो कश्मीर सेफ्रोन नागपुर ऑरेंज सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ जी आई टैग uh for point to remember for every ipr first file a protection and then publish your ip and the ipr rights are territorial in nature that means if you have file a ipr right in india then their validity is in in india only if you want to file a patent in other uh, other country than like us then you have to file a patent application or design application in us government they will give you a right so all the ipr rights are territorial in nature it is valid only in indian territory and the registration is done by the government and the all the rights are limited to certain period of time like uh, the gi tag and trademark is valid for lifetime but all other ipr has a some limited time no automatic relief if like if somebody is uh, using your idea then you need to file a infringement suit against your uh, there is a renewal fee for every ipr appointment of patent agent to file a application it is not compulsory so validity of all the ipr for patent the validity is 20 years for design it is 10 year it can be extendable to extra 5 year for trademark it is indefinitely for gi it is indefinitely Uh, but all these two shall be renewed after every ten years. For copyright, it is lifetime of author and plus sixty years. For SICLD design, it is ten year. Uh, who can apply for IPR? So any person who is creating the IP, IP can apply. But uh, for GI tag, it it should be a firm or a, a organization body. so these are the various act uh, for patent act the patent act 1970 for trademark the trademark act 1999 the design registration will be done as per the design act 2000 the copyright is done for as per the act copyright act 1957 for gi uh, it is uh, gi act 1999 for sicld it is semiconductor integrated circuit layout design act 2000 so um there are uh, various offices for uh, ips like for patent there are four offices mumbai chennai kolkata and delhi for design the uh, the office is uh, kolkata for trademark uh, mumbai ahmedabad kolkata new delhi and chennai for copyright it is uh, new delhi only for gi tech uh, the office is chennai for sicld it is new delhi so we will talk about various uh, career opportunities in ipr so you can get a government job like uh, examiner of patent and design examiner of trademark and gi examiner of uh, copyright after uh, completing your graduation you need to uh, file so the it, uh, the um, recruitment will be done by upsc or npsc and for uh, patent and design the requirement is um, uh, any science degree for trademark and gi the law degree is required and other uh, private jobs like patent agent trademark agent grf srf in patent uh, patent facilitation center or you can become a ip lawyer so uh, there is a training institute for ipr is rajiv gandhi national institute of intellectual property management that is located in nagpur if you want to uh, get a further training on ipr you can contact rg and ipm nagpur so now we will have a small quiz uh, i will show you some question you need you need to answer you can give answer in the chat box so find out the famous trademark in this everyone can write their answer in the chat box famous trademark
or you can unmute your uh, audio and you can answer. Yes, Pepsi and Dettol is correct. Anything else? Cadbury is right. Bata is correct. Babul, Olix. Lux is right. Now I'll show you the answer. So it is Pepsi, Amul, Tata, Horlicks, Cadbury, Lux, Babul, Bata. So these are the answer it all. Now find the IP in the first. So for this painting, what IP he can get? Or painting. Anyone can answer? Uh, yeah, it is Mona Lisa, but what IPR right he can get for the painting? Answer one, like patent, copyright, design, or what? Yes, copyright is the right answer. For the second one, so for the second one, design uh, can get the uh, for Bisleri there is a trademark and this apple sign for for this also a trademark and the, the design of this bottle design registration can be done for this Coca Cola trademark registration is there. Now answer this question, which type of IP protect the painting painted by the artist? Which type of IP protect painting painted by an artist? Copyright is the right answer. Uh, which type of IPR protect uh, IP created by a fashion designer? Yes, De design is the correct answer. What protect the advanced disc brake developed for a bike by an inventor? What protect the advanced disc brake developed for a bike by an inventor? Yes, patent is the right answer. Which of these is a geographical indication? Yes, Nagpur orange is the correct answer. What does a trademark protect? What does a trademark protect? Logo name and brand. Yes, right. How long a patent can last? Yes, it is 20 years. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू राइट अ ओरिजिनल स्टोरी वॉट टाइप ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी गिव यू राइट टू डिसाइड हु कैन मेक एंड सेल कॉपीज ऑफ योर वर्क yes it is copyright uh, now next question is imagine a cricketer set up his own company to sell his own range of clothes what type of intellectual property he can use to show that the clothes are made by his company yes the correct answer is trademark from trademark we can identify the this like this particular cloth is belong to this company then now next question is if a company develops a new technology that improve its main product what type of intellectual property can they use to uh, use to stop others from copying their invention the correct answer is patent for technology the patent can be granted now thank you all uh, as we can see is ip is everywhere uh, we we can i we can find ip in every product that we see all around so uh, for all of you ip can be useful in every field uh, if anyone have some question they can ask if anyone has some question they can ask now the floor is open for discussion participants please feel free to post your questions in the chat box thank you loita question ma'am yes can mathematical formula can be patented ma'am no like i have uh, already told you as per the section 3 of the patent act mathematical formula and business methods are not patentable in india okay thank you can any of the products have lifetime patency ma'am no no for so, for life it is valid for 20 years in india yeah okay for lifetime validity for trademark and gi tag there is a lifetime validity they are renewing after every 10 years like you can see the logo of tata is uh, coming from several years thank you ma'am now the uh a uh, priya ma'am
Thank you, ma'am, for enlightening our minds with the thought-provoking lecture. It was truly an inspiring session for all our aspirants. Every good thing has to come to an end, but I believe that the essence of this event will see the be beginning for many. With this positive note, I now call upon Vahini to present a vote of thanks. I consider it a great privilege to propose my vote of thanks for the successful completion of today's program. Firstly, I would like to give thanks to the Almighty for having made this event a great success. Next, I would like to thank our secretary, Sir Sri C. Likmanchan JNG and the management for providing the support to conduct this event. Thank you, sirs. I extend my hearty felt gratitude to Ms. Priyanka Kajla, Examiner of Patent and Designs, Nipam Officer, Patent Office, Delhi, for your valuable time and taking us through your thought-provoking session, which will undoubtedly be support in building our career. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to thank our beloved principal, ma'am, for her continuous support, guidance, and encouragement in organizing this great event. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to thank our PRO ma'am, Ms. B. Shakti Mala, for exciting her support in conducting this event. I also thank Dr. V. Sabri ma'am, IPR Coordinator and Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Physics, and Dr. K. Priya ma'am, Research Coordinator and Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, for organizing this event. Last but not least, I, I would like to thank all the HODs, faculties and staff of various departments and all external participants who have been a part of this event success. I thank you our technical team, Mr. Sudha sir and Ms. Dinesh sir and Mr. Ranjit sir for rendering their technical support throughout this event. Once again, I thank you all. Ma'am, you can leave the session now, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the uh, session. Ma'am, how do you touch the college name? How do you touch the college name? How Participant can leave the session. Kindly fill the feedback line. Posted.